Today we will learn how to draw the pivot diagram of Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge. First, we will draw the diagram. In the first term, we can see one resistance R1 and one inductance L1 connected in series, which is the unknown inductance and the resistance R1 is the internal resistance of the inductance R L1. In the second arm, there is resistance R2. In the third arm, there is resistance R3. And here we can see one capacitance and one resistance connected parallelly. So this, at this point, the detector is connected and the supply is AC. So this is my I1 current and this is my I2 current. At balance condition, the same current will flow to R3. So this is my I1 and this is my I2. So there is parallel path. So this is C capacitance C4 and resistance R4. Current to the resistance R4 is IR and current to the capacitance is IC. The potential between this point A and B is E1. And A and D, this is E2. And the potential between B and C is E3 and this one is E4. That is drop I R IR R4 is E4 and IC by Omega C is Omega C4 is another uh, expression of E4. Now I am drawing the phasor diagram. The first line is the current I1, I2, sorry, uh, only I1, not I2. The inductor, inductive drop and resistive drop. So this is I1, I1, R1 is the resistive drop. After that, inductive drop. So inductive drop will lead by 90 dB. So, I1 omega L1 is the inductive drop. Now, if I join this one, I will get E1. So, at balance, at balance, E1 must be equal to E2. This E1 must be equal to E2. And E3 must be equal to E4. And E1 plus E3 must be equal to E1 plus E3 is equal to E. Similarly, E2 plus E4 is equal to E. So, I know E1 is equal to E2. So, this is E1 is equal to E2. What is E2? E2 is equal to I2 R2. So, I will extend this line. So this is my I2. Now, here we can see E3. I1 R3 is E3. This is, a, uh, this is I1 R3 is equal to E3. Now E3 is equal to E4. So, E3 is equal to E4, that is IR, IR into R4 is equal to E4. E4 means this IC by omega, IC by omega C4, IC by omega C4. So, E E1 plus E3 is equal to E
I will join these two points. This is my E. So E1 plus E3 is equal to E. Now E2 plus E4 is equal to E. So this is also E4. Now I, I want E2. This is E2. So E2 plus E4 is equal to E. Now the thing is, important thing, this I2, this I2 is the phasor sum of IC plus IR. So I can see I2 is here. Now I see the current to the capacitor, it must lead the potential. That is potential, that means this is the E4. So it will lead by 90 degree. So this is my, this is not 90 degree. This is my IC. I will join this two point. So IC and this is my IR. So this is IR. So IR plus IC is equal to E2. So I2 current is the phasor sum of IC plus IR. So if you have any doubt, please write in the comments box. Uh, this is the phasor diagram. This phasor diagram is very important. So that's all in Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge. Thank you.